G'day guys and girls and welcome back to our little channel, Goodies Beer Reviews. And look what I've got today. The same introduction like my last 500 videos. <laughs> but this is, <clears throat> pardon me, very stormy, very cool tonight. Uh, it's it's Adnams. Uh, I've seen this in uh, Liquorland and Uncle Dan's. Our favourite family member, sometimes, and I've seen Ghost Ship here on the shelves a while. I thought, you know, I'm sure I've had it years ago, and I was like, you know, I had it once. It's a UK beer. It's imported by Pinnacle Drinks. It's in a big, heavy can, 440 mils on this vessel carrying the beer. <laughs> 4.5% ABV. It says it's a citrus paley. It says pale ale, but I'm an Aussie. It's a citrus paley. 1.6 uh, standard drinks in the vessel. So let's go. The end, it's New Year's Eve. So, yeah, look, happy New Year's. We always, I get sick of saying that. I don't know. Very big, popping crack on the can, fresh, loud, crisp. You get sick of um, saying happy, uh, happy New Year's. Like usually, New Year's was. I always worked through holiday periods a lot if I had the option. Um, money was good, or a bit better, and I didn't really have much family before I had the teenager. I sort of had no one, so I worked. Or you worked, don't you? When you're sort of single, or you you married, or you. You know, you're in jobs that require sort of a rotating roster. You just work sometimes and you avoid having to cook. <laughs> nice looking beer. If I poured this heavier, it would have had a bigger head. But I wanted to be gentle schmental because I can't remember this beer. And when I actually pulled the can up I, and I saw citrus pale ale, I was like, sounds good. Dark looking beer, multi. Ambery, very uh, amber. Have a sniff. Sorry about the lighting if it's a bit off. But I just don't put much effort in. I don't. I just go out and buy beers and review them. That smells quite pleasant. Now, this is English, I think. Um, pleasant smell. I get orange, blood orange, nearly like that kumquatty tangerine. Um, smell. Um, I, I can't remember if I liked this or not when I had it, or I just didn't care, and now I've actually read a bit about it. It sounds okay. I don't think it's overpriced. It's not like a $12 can. I mean, everything's overpriced here, but um, I think it's I think it's 6 or 7 bucks a can, maybe. It smells nice, it, it, and it's probably travelled too, so anyway. We won't be too harsh on the English. I'm sure it's a pommy beer. If not, I apologise. At first, uh, first impressions is it's very carbonated. And it's got a very um, strong taste. It, it, it tastes stronger than a 4.5. Tastes to me, and I'm not going to go too deep into this because I just want this year to end. I think, <laughs> you know, it, it tastes like your home brew. It's got a very rough back end. The hops are very subtle. I mean, I don't think it's very citrusy. I'm not getting much citrus. I'm getting a tart, burnt malt flavour. Yeah, very bitter on the back end. But you know what? If this was on tap, you'd give it a nudge. You'd give it a go. If you see it, I'd say buy it. I don't really score beers here. I'd just say if you see it, buy it. Or if you don't, don't. If you see me throw one, then I'd probably say don't get that. But, um, yeah, 2023. So 
Thank you. It'll be a shorter video. I'll, I'll throw this one up and I might do one later. I've got some gift packs there of JD and some rums that I've got to review. But it's been a it's been an interesting year. Actually, it's been a big year in some ways. And you reflect sometimes and go. Now, tell me if I'm the only one who does this. You reflect and go. I'm just talking about an Aussie mail. You reflect and you go, oh, it wasn't that bad. And then you sometimes talk to someone who's a stranger or in a bar or, I don't know, anywhere. And you hear their side of the story and they're complaining and you go, oh, I can hold my beer. But you're polite, you don't, you know. Everyone goes through different things and how you cope with them comes down to the person, I think. Yeah. Some people cope better in, in crisis and some people don't. That can push leaders ahead of others in, you know, some studies. And Everyone's probably going, oh, he's off tangent now. <laughs> it won't be a long one. But yeah, happy new year to everyone. Thank you for the subscribers. Ghost ship's okay. The mozzies are everywhere tonight. The rain has come through here. We had some cracking storms. Absolutely cracking. A lot of rain in such a short period of time where it just doesn't soak in. It sort of runs away without legs. What runs without legs? Water. I just made up a joke. <laughs> Anyways, apart from my life, that'd be the other one. But yeah, it's been a different year. I'm, what do I hope? Okay, what do I hope in 24? This is my mini list, Savages. I would say one would be survive, two would be see the world a bit more. I'm heading to Thailand coming up, so I'm going to do some little videos and I'm not going to change. If you like this sort of chill, random yarn, and we just accept all opinions here, we talk a bit of shit, and you guys are my support, and I support you, so I just... I just like a good beer and having a yak. A bit old-fashioned, but a bit fun. And for me, it's a timestamp too. You look back and you go, geez, you know, like I've had some beautiful people subscribe. You know, I started off with hardly any. And I don't, it's not my main focus, because otherwise I'd put all this shit over my screen and stuff. But anyways, I hope everyone got through 23. And for the ones who didn't, I'm sorry. There's been some tragic accidents on the road. And you've just got to be careful. Just be careful. And I might see you next year, or I might see you at the next one. Love each other, take care of each other, be kind to each other. Have a good night, and Happy New Year if I don't see you again tonight. Love is. Go ship. Giddy up. Nice vessel.